Hey guys, have you heard about a murder case yesterday? Oh my god, yes! There's definitely a psycho out there right now. What case? It's in the papers today. The CEO of Grand Life Corporations was murdered in the house this morning. Oh my god, I hope the cop stops this soon. I don't feel safe anymore. Uni, are you okay? Hey, we're on a break here. Don't just think about work. As a psychiatrist, I really think you should relax more. Well, five minutes till two. Lunch break's over. I have to get to work. <sighs> Lawyers and their punctuality. Uh, well, I have an appointment at two as well, so I think I gotta get going. Let's go, guys. Yun, I know you're working on my dad's case. I'm... I already let it go. You should do so too. You and I both know your father was innocent. Why are you giving up? Enough is enough. Just stop it. I don't want you to carry the burden anymore. I'm going to finish this case if it's the last thing I'll do. There must be some kind of relation between these three victims. But what? Here, let's see. Probably a message from the killer. Ah, ah it says here that this lady, Roxanne Lee, the CEO of Grand Life Company, and this lady, Iris Song, a lawyer backing up Chris's trial. And it all links up to the man who is dead. Yeah. But today's our lucky day. Wait, what? Excuse me, Miss Scarlett. Uh, detective over here. Yes, can I help you? Please. Thank you. Actually, I'm inspecting a case and I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Uh, do you know this woman? Oh my, isn't she the CEO of my father's company? Such a tragedy. Yeah. Um, Actually, I'll be frank with you. Do you know anybody who might want her dead? I'm just a shareholder. I have no relationship to this. I'm sorry. I understand. Um, what about this man, Chris? I've never seen this guy. Sorry. Thank you. Very well then. Thank you, doctor. How did you know? Of course. Best psychiatrist in town. Who wouldn't? Not a problem. Please, officer, if there's anything I can help, I'm more than happy to help. Thank you for your time, doctor.